Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we'll be answering the human endocrine system and homeostasis questions from previous question papers. We're mainly focusing on questions that they ask in section A. So we're going to be doing five multiple choice questions, 17 terminology questions, all from human endocrine system. And we're going to do to do uh, five column A. Normally don't have column A and B. Column one and column two, um, all from section A. So this is basically just going to assist in checking your understanding of the topic. Now, multiple choice. Remember, it's normally a one point one question, and each question is worth two marks. Which one of the following is an exocrine gland? exocrine gland we are talking about um, glands that have ducts oopsie mm, let me choose my color we are talking about oh love it we are talking about glands that have ducts okay let me get my life in order yeah so we're talking about glands that have ducts so whatever that they secrete, um, it gets secreted into the ducts and transported by the ducts. Um, so the correct answer here will be prostate gland. Okay, definitely not pituitary, adrenal gland and thyroid because the endocrine glands, they secrete their hormones directly. They secrete their hormones directly into the blood. Okay. A person produces a smaller volume of urine, most probably because of what? There are the four options that are given to us. The correct answer will be A, guys. So most probably because the ADH levels, remember this is a, a hormone, ADH, antidiuretic hormone that is secreted, um, produced by the hypothalamus secreted by the pituitary gland so it travels in the blood and goes to um, the kidneys so this hormone uh, it may be that the adh levels are high in the blood and then the renal tubules are obviously more permeable so if you read through the different options this one is also talking about the adh levels being high but it's saying the renal tubules um, will be less permeable we know that is incorrect right um, high levels of ADH obviously increases the permeability of our renal tubules. 1.3. When a person runs a race, sweating helps to what? Regulate the amount of salts in the body. Uh, why am I speaking like that? Control the amount of glucose in the body. Cools uh, the body through evaporation or regulate the amount of water in the body. So D, to regulate the amount of water. In the body <laughs> remember guys to kindly hit that subscribe button it is free you do not have to pay to be subscribed to my channel guys it's more like following someone on instagram and also on tiktok please like this video share the link with your friends schoolmates classmates and also please comment down below who investigation Question 4 refers, uh, 1.4 rather, refer to the investigation below. A scientist did an investigation on a healthy individual. Healthy individual. And the aim of this investigation was to determine the effect of drinking water on what exactly? Urine production. Now, from our aim, we get to understand what the investigation is about, and we also get our variables, both the dependent and independent variable, to determine the effect of drinking water on what exactly? On urine production. So, water intake will be our independent variable, and dependent variable will be urine production. So the amount of urine that you produce is dependent on your water intake, I guess. Okay. The participant was requested not to drink or eat for four hours before the investigation began. The investigation was conducted over a period of three days. The procedure was as follows. 
On day one, the participant was given 600 milliliters of water to drink. Day two, 800 milliliters. Day um, three, 1,000 milliliters. For each day, the amount of urine produced by the participant was measured and recorded over the next four hours. And an average was calculated, 1.4. Which one of the following correctly indicates the dependent and the independent variable? Ah, 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 ah. Let's see, we've mentioned them already. So water intake, since they're talking about the effect of drinking water, will be the independent variable. Urine production will be the dependent. Let's see. Amount of water, amount of urine produced, definitely B. We can't take um, A nothing about time in hours that can't be our dependent variable our independent variable definitely cannot be the amount of urine produced okay so i am probably going to record a video guys where i break down everything that has to do with scientific investigation the scientific method and explain the variables in detail so if you urgently need that video please please um just indicate in the comment section and i will make a plan so the plan is obviously for me to explain um the key important um basically aspects of answering a scientific investigation answering the aim talking about the steps the planning steps the variables dependent and independent variables the control variables and a focus on reliability and validity and how to interpret results and also how to answer a conclusion question so all of those things are very important those are marks that you really really need in an exam and you never know which investigation you're going to get in an exam so you need to be prepared and you apply all of that information it's not a copy and paste they're not going to ask you to define what a dependent variable is it's all about understanding what the variables are reliability validity and then you apply that information when you're answering investigations okay Ooh, okay 1.5 you are having two men here we're given a glucose rich meal and they were given this meal at the same time, which is at the beginning of this investigation, I'm assuming since they're saying zero hours. Um, one man from the two is diabetic and the other is non-diabetic. The diabetic did not receive any medical treatment. Their blood glucose levels were measured over a period of three hours. The graphs below show the possible blood glucose levels of the two men <coughs> during this time okay let's analyze the graphs let's see the question first so which one of the graphs correctly represents the blood glucose levels of the two men and non-diabetic so these ones are just obviously incorrect because as soon as you consume a glucose rich meal we are expecting your glucose levels to increase a little bit whether you are diabetic or not so why and x are out already then let's look at not y and x w and x sorry are out we are now left with y and z so definitely y will be the correct one because both their glucose levels will increase but obviously um the levels of a diabetic person will increase way more okay so that's definitely y so c All right Let's go to terminology. I love this. Love, 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 love it. A gland whose secretions are transported through blood streams. Endocrine glands. Endocrine glands. A system that is responsible for chemical coordination in the body. That is the endocrine system. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, let me write gland here. <laughs> endocrine system. Please do comment down below, guys. I really do enjoy responding to your comments. If you have a certain question for me, please leave it in the comment section. If you're also answering the questions with me, please just indicate um, how it's going, how many questions you got correct, and all of that in the comment section. I really do enjoy interacting with you guys. A hormone that stimulates ovulation in humans. That is LH, luteinizing hormone. Uh, the process of maintaining a constant internal environment in the human body. That is homeostasis. 
a gland whose secretions are transported through ducts that is exocrine gland a hormone that stimulates mammary glands to produce milk prolactin secreted by the pituitary gland a hormone that is responsible for osmoregulation in the body regulating water the hormone is adh antidiuretic hormone which is secreted um, by the pituitary gland but produced by the hypothalamus specialized cells in the pancreas that secrete insulin and glucagon those are the islets of Langerhans. This is N Langerhans. I'm not sure what's happening with my pen. Um, a hormone responsible for secondary sexual characteristics in males. Testosterone. A hormone that is responsible for maintaining salt balance in the blood salt balance in the blood is maintained by hormone aldosterone and remember this hormone is secreted by the adrenal gland okay um and the target organ will obviously be the kidney a gland that secretes fsh and lh in females that is the pituitary gland um then chemical messengers produced by endocrine glands those are hormones hormones are chemical messengers a gland located in the neck that secretes thyroxin hormone that is the thyroid gland remember this gland is stimulated by the thyroid stimulating hormone a hormone that controls the metabolic rate in the body that is thyroxin and this thyroxin is secreted by the thyroid gland a hormone that increases the blood glucose level in the body that is glucagon a hormone that lowers the blood glucose level in the body that is insulin both secreted by both produced and secreted by the pancreas promotes the secretion of hormones produced by thyroid gland so that is tsh which is secreted by the pituitary gland a mechanism that detects imbalances and restores balance in the internal environment negative feedback A hormone responsible for growth and development in the body growth hormone okay we're almost done we're almost done let's hang in there um the hormone that is okay let me not let me ru not rush things remember guys column one column two it's normally a 1.3 question in our exams two marks per question two marks we cannot 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 be losing two marks and the instruction here is asking us to write a only b only both a and b or none let us follow instructions let us follow instructions i always raise my voice when it comes to this question guys because most of you make mistakes and you end up being penalized and losing those marks the reason i started this channel is to guide you guys guide you highlight certain mistakes that you need to avoid show you how you need to answer and all of that please 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 write a only they are not saying just write A or B or A comma B. Mm -mm. Other people even have the nerve for none to just write N. Ha! Ah, please. I don't want you to lose that two marks. Remember here, you are given a statement in column one and two options in column two. Now, from those two options, it is possible that only one of those options is correct or both of them are correct or none of the options that are given to you are correct. So you need to read uh, and definitely understand the hormone that is in excess in a person that grows abnormally tall excess over secretion of this hormone uh, and the person grows abnormally tall adh or thyroxine definitely none 
a hormone that controls the salt content in the body. Salt is controlled by aldosterone. So the answer is A only. The state of the blood vessels in the skin of a human when the environment when the environmental temperature is high. What happens to the blood vessels? Do they dilate or constrict? 3.3. They are definitely going to dilate. A only. Can you see how I'm including my only? Only. Hmm? Also include your only, please, in your test and exam. May cause a decrease in the pH of the blood. Ah, 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 I love this. Excess carbon dioxide. A only. So high levels of carbon dioxide in the blood um, affects the pH of the blood. That is why there's obviously homeostasis to release um, the excess carbon dioxide back to the atmosphere. Cool, 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 cool. Last one. X as both it should be acts as both an endocrine and exocrine gland that is b only that's the pancreas remember the pancreas acts as an endocrine and exocrine gland it acts as an endocrine gland because it secretes hormones directly into the blood right and those two hormones that are secreted is the insulin and glucagon. Then the exocrine function of the, of the pancreas is that it is going to secrete a pancreatic juice. So it will then secrete this pancreatic juice into pancreatic juice into a pancreatic duct. 